Today, in this lesson, I'll be going to teach you how to model an axe inside of 3ds Max. So I've got an axe. Uh, I just uh, model it and render out using various just applying a simple chrome material just for a reference to model it. Um, actually, I got this idea from videocopilot.net Andrew Kramer. So I've got one image where he modeled this one. So now we'll be modeling this one, uh, this example here. Uh, so um, let's begin. Let's not waste our time in anything else. Okay. So we're here in 3ds Max 2010. Uh, so let us begin with creating a box. Let's create a simple box. Okay. Press J to off the selection bracket and F4 to turn on. Uh, eight faces so I don't need this long so let me just reduce the width maybe about this one so we can again modify it later on so no need to worry and I don't need too thick as well I think a little less thick than this one again okay I think this one would be pretty good okay now let me go full screen on perspective view so that shortcut alt w if you are new to max okay now so we have got this axe blade blade on both the sides and we have got a let's say a rod in the middle so we'll be creating one piece blade at first then mirror that and then create this part so for um, the most difficult part will be uh, molding this part and creating this sharp ease um, but that's not uh, actually too difficult uh, sometimes it might be a little confusing so but a little bit if it went good then it will be good okay so let's begin um, first of all let me create this narrow part here so just convert it to sorry editable poly Okay. Oops, sorry, I pressed T instead of R. Okay, but no problem. I can again go back to perspective. Okay. Um, okay, I think uh, that'll be pretty good. Uh, if that's not fine, we can um, come back later and do that again. Okay. Well, I want to now. Still, this one I think we won't need that. Okay. And then uh, I think it's too long, so let me just reduce this one back here. Okay. Now let me add one edge right in the middle. So, first of all, let me make it just two so that we have got more options to work at once. Uh, let me do connect um, since it's on middle, so I think that'll be good okay uh, let me scale it down so, uh, we need to get this curve curve here so don't try to add lots of edges and add more detail at first because we won't need too much detail at the beginning since we will be uh, adding a turbo smooth modifier so just try to be as low as you can so one more connect right here uh, okay and only on Y axis scale it down and try to get a nice curve right here okay so and uh, we also have got a hole in here so it's um, better to make it um, make it whole when you have low poly and later on you might face a little problem or s might be a little difficult later on so it's better to do that first uh, okay, so for that, uh, let me select all these edges and then do a connect two segments and maybe pinch it apart right here. Okay, so again, let us see. Uh, this holds closer to this part, so we need to move that a bit ahead. Okay, and maybe scale it down again. And this one as well 
and move this one closer as well okay now go to polygon select top and bottom polygons and delete them so we have got a hole but um, we need to can bridge these two parts so let me just go to border and select both the borders and then do a bridge okay so just okay that's good and the default value does a pretty good job okay so let's see if we need to adjust something right here I think that's pretty good but um, you can see that it's a little curvy here so we can also do that uh, select all these A's and then do a connect just a single one no pinch okay and then maybe select oops go to vertex and select these and then scale it down maybe okay and this one as well okay that looks fine now so uh, you can see we have we are pretty much low poly so we don't need to worry too much and uh, maybe we need to add some resolution right in here as well so let me select the A's and do a sorry ring ha <laughs> I'm always confused in ring and loop uh, just do a connect uh, OK and just scale it down maybe I think uh, need to adjust it some more a little bit more OK so let me just oops, sorry just select the top one and then scale it a little bit more and even this this one as well okay and I think this one's a little bit smaller so you can just tweak around until you get the best result okay okay now let's go for this sharp ease blade um, so you have you can see that we have got a nice curve at, at this part as well this part is also curvy so we need to add a resolution in the middle so we don't need at this one so maybe we might add it later on but for now just select this part and then connect okay and then just um, okay just move it a little bit back and then go to vertex okay can move this part like this okay and this one and one thing what you should keep in mind is try to make this one and this one flow in the same kind of direction so they need to have a same flow so that later on it will be good so you can see that these two are if they were straight they are kind of parallel and just they have got the same amount of curviness in both of them so that that's what we need to achieve later on so try to mm, make it move on same direction you can go to top view so that will be more easier I think okay Okay, let's see. Okay, I think uh, the size is pretty good. So let me just, uh, just select all the vertices right here, and then let me just scale them down to make it a sharp blade type. Okay. see uh, okay that's good till now we can also add some resolution right in here just do a ring and then connect okay go to top view like that and maybe this one as well okay
maybe I think uh, okay that's no problem okay and I think I can merge these vertices vertices together okay select all those vertices and just weld them okay with 0 0.81 that can hold it okay Okay, uh, I think um, I added this middle one, but I think that'll be a little bit of troublesome for now. So let me just delete it and just backspace to delete that. So I think if we need it, we'll add it later on. Okay, so now, we, oops, sorry. Uh, let me close this graphite modeling tool. And we have got this vertices as well. Backspace, backspace. Okay, now let me move this a little bit back and this one a little bit front. Okay, now here I want to add one more connect. Okay, now let me just increase its size. Mm looking a little bit weird so let me manage up um, these vertices okay Move this one like this this one as well same thing up here just try to get a nice curve okay I think this one's a bit too like that Okay. Maybe. Mm, okay. Okay. Mm. <sighs> so next thing, what we'll be doing is, okay, add some support edges for these corners so that uh, when we add a turbo mode, it will hold it pretty nicely.